بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سیدنا بلال رضی اللہ عنہ and his sufferings سیدنا بلال رضی اللہ عنہ is one of the best known of the galaxy of sahaba as muazzin of the Prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم مسجد muazzin is a person who says the adhan he was an abyssinian slave of a disbeliever in Mecca his conversion to Islam was naturally not liked by his master and he was therefore persecuted mercilessly Umayyah bin Khalf uh, or Umayyah bin Khalf who was the worst enemy of Islam would make him lie down on the burning sand at midday and would place a heavy stone on his breast so that he could not even move a limb. He would then say to him, renounce Islam or swelter and die. Even under these afflictions, Bilal radiallahu anhu would exclaim, Ahad, the one Allah. Ahad, the one Allah. He was whipped at night and with the cuts thus received made to lie on the burning ground during the day to make him either forsake Islam or to die a lingering death from wounds. The torturers would get tired and take turns, Abu Jahl, Amaya and others, and why with one another in afflicting more and more painful punishment. But Sayyidina Bilal Rajiyalan who bought his freedom and he became a free Muslim. As Islam taught implicitly the oneness of the Almighty Creator while the idolaters of the Makkah believed in many gods and goddesses with minor godlings. Therefore Bilal radiallahu anhu repeated, Ahad the one, Ahad the one. This shows his love and devotion to Allah. Allah was so dear to him that no amount of persecution could distract him from reciting his holy name. It is said that the urchins of Makkah would drag him in the streets with his words, Ahad, Ahad, ringing in their wake. Look how Allah rewarded his steadfastness. He was to have the honor of becoming the Prophet's Muazzin. He was always to remain with him at home and abroad to call out the Azan for his Salah. After the Prophet's death, it became very hard for him to continue his stay in Medina, where he would miss him at every step and in every corner. He therefore left Medina and decided to pass the rest of his life striving in the paths of Allah. Once he beheld the Prophet ﷺ in his dream saying to him, O oh Bilal, how is that you never visit me? No sooner did he get up than he set out for Medina. On reaching there, Hazrat Hassan and Hazrat Hussain radiallahu the Prophet ﷺ's grandsons requested him to call out the Azan. He could not refuse them for they were very dear to him. But as soon as the Azan was called, the people of Medina cried openly out of their anguish at the memory of the happy old days of the Prophet ﷺ's time. Even the women came out of their houses weeping. Hazrat Bilal radiallahu anhu, who left Medina again after a few days and died in Damascus in 20 AH.